the most powerful and the most dangerous is called Le Neuf Sur. There was a, uh, their name was on the shield here, but I wrote about it and I sent it to a lot of people and they took it out. You see, Lozien, it means lodges. This is in Tolikoven near Buen. The Druids, this lodge, Amorg, and here it was written. I still got a picture where it's written on it. They gave the Statue of Liberty to um, the United States. They, they, uh, so they're ruling the United States as well. They spent so much money, you know, to have it built in France and to have it sent over. And of course, the Statue of Liberty is ISIS. No doubt, eh? And they put a big antenna here for cell phones, you know? And of course, they don't give a damn if the children next door if they can still sleep in the night, and of course they can't. And there, and there, these guys don't give a damn. You see, I asked them for help. And all there's a, there's a, a letterbox here somewhere. Uh, there it is. And I asked them for help. All four lodges, none of them even replied. This is the kind of people they are, right? Yeah, so this is the Jewish cemetery in Bern, in Wankdorf, you see, so let's go in and see, let's see what surprises there are. So first of all we got the Grail, it means our blood is here, our pharaonic blood is here, right, and then as we look, it's full of obelisks. Freemasonry temple, the triangle of the Freemasons, more obelisks, more, more. It's full of it, more. This guy, he was a lawyer and a senator. Look, Conseil National, senator here in Switzerland and Bern. High positions. Obelisks, it's full of it. Absolutely full of obelisks here. On this one here it says Auf Wiedersehen. See you again. This is a very special one here. Yeah. So again the obelisk is a phallic symbol and as it is carved on top it's a symbol of the circumcision because that comes from the pharaohs, the Jews, the Arabs, the Americans of course they all have it from the pharaohs the, Amer the Americans can be considered as half Muslims now as they're being circumcised 97% of the men this is really a pact with the devil I mean if you do believe in God you should leave the body as he created it and don't mess around with it don't butcher it, eh? There's a Freemason, shake hands. Uh, it's a huge one, like in Washington DC. Absolutely huge. I must have spent a lot of money, just, you know. Freemasonry, Freemason Lodge, the Triangle of the Freemasons, the joining here, from there to there. Mr. Bloch, you know, like Mr. Blocher. He's like the, uh, the Swiss Hitler, Mr. Blocher. There's a pharaoh as well, another obelisk. Behind there is an obelisk. It's full of it. Absolutely full of it. More here. A white one. Nice. So these guys here, they're not some poor sheep, shepherds like, you know, it's being said in the Bible. These are pharaohs. These are pure pharaohs. And the Jews tell us we were 430 years prisoners with the pharaohs. They killed our children under four years. They killed our men. They put them into slavery. So why, for God's sake, they put the symbol of their enemy on top of their graves? They are lying. They're lying. You don't put the symbol of the enemy on top of your grave. These are pharaohs. 
And these people, how can they be so... Uh, a shepherd usually doesn't get so intelligent and doesn't have so much power. But these are pharaohs. Wow, it's big. Loop. And more obelisks here. And more there. And more there. Pharaonic cemetery. But it doesn't mean all the Jews are pharaohs. They still are the Hebrew people. And the, Hebrew, the pharaohs are also ruling in Israel over the Hebrew people. It's my opinion. And it was only the Hebrews that got killed. You know, like, like during the Holocaust. And the pharaohs did it. I mean, Mr. Hitler, his grandfather was a pharaoh. A pharaonic Jew. His name was Frankenberger. And it was supposed to be a Rothschild. There are rumors he was a Rothschild. And, um, yeah, the Freemasons and the pharaohs, they had the idea to, um, uh, to murder all the, the Hebrew people because they were the, f the first victim. They were the first victims, remember, of the pharaohs, 430 years prisoners. And uh, the Hebrew people, actually, before, they were like an Arab trade tribe. The, uh, the male, the, the uh, patriarch, he was the, the, um, the head of the family, like, like Arabs. Um, and uh, the pharaonic system, traditionally, is a, is a female system, Cleopatra. Uh, Cleopatra. And they have, uh, the, the women have so much power. In the antique, it was the only civilization where women, womanhood, and the sisters of Isis had so much power. Yeah. And because there were still a lot of Hebrew people and they had a lot of uh, pharaonic genetics inside of them, but they were not initiated. So the word danger and they r reproduced so, um, so largely, you know, in, the, in, in Poland and in Russia, there were millions of them. And they formed a danger because they, they had this genetic uh, super, superiority. Uh, but they were not initiated, so the pharaohs finally had to do the uh, final solution you know, to get rid of them. And uh, the Germans, the warriors, a stupid warrior who doesn't really think, it just takes orders. Uh, they were just the workers, you know, like in, like in a beehive. They were just the workers who did it. But it was not the mind, they're too stupid. That was not the mind. Get out of here. The mind was pure pharaonic. Freemasons. The Second World War and Hitler, they were being financed uh, by America, by Henry Ford, by the Freemasons. Hey. So again, uh, not all the Jews are bad, I think. Uh, I don't think so. But uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Hebrew people, the, the good ones actually, they were all murdered by these pharaohs. Uh, most of them. And what was left, they went to Israel. So I think actually a Zionist is not a bad thing. A Zionist is somebody who's fed up with, uh, with Europe. I mean, aren't we all? <laughs> and uh, he just wants to live in the Middle East, you know, next to uh, the Mount Zion. I mean, there's nothing wrong about that, is there? Uh, but apparently the Arabs, they, uh, they're not too fond of the, uh, of the idea. But what is worst, we should, we should forget the word Zionist, we should just think pharaohs. They're the bad ones, eh? They're the baddies. Oh. And the pharaohs, they're ruling over Israel as well, over the Hebrew people. They're ruling the whole world. So I suppose this part of the cemetery is the uh, pharaonic part. There are no stones, like in Schindler's list, you know, there's no stones put here. Maybe that's because they're dead and gone and they're old, they're, the, the relatives, you know, they're too old, there's nobody. The sons and daughters, the grandsons, they all already disappeared. So there's nobody left to put a stone on it. But there's place, you see, there, there's, a, well, maybe this is especially a, some place to put a stone on it. Yeah. But anyway, there's another part here where there's no obelisk. You see that behind here. So maybe that's the Hebrew part. Let's go and have a look. You see, that's the pharaonic part. If we look here, 
Maybe we can call this the Hebrew part. Well, there's a little obelisk there, only a little one. Lots of stones here all over. But again, maybe that's only because this is new. Later, this is new. And uh, the sons and daughters are still alive. The awesome obelisk there, a little one. I mean, labor costs too much nowadays. Maybe in those times, like behind here, they still had a lot of money to do this. There's another obelisk. Freemasonry, a ball, so we rule the world. The joining here. There's the ball, symbol of the world domination. Definitely Freemasons. So even within the, let's say, the Hebrew part, there still are a lot of pharaohs here, apparently. There's another obelisk there. Yeah. So I don't know. It's probably all mixed, pharaohs and Hebrews. Yeah. Full of obelisks, yeah. Well, at least these are no... Um, no just uh, biblical shepherds or their, their offspring. These, these are pharaohs. These are the true pharaohs. And they got all the power. Uh, look at it, how big it is. Just look at the size of it. As in Washington, D.C., eh? They show that in every movie in Washington or in, from Hollywood. Hollywood, which is pharaonic. It's the biggest, uh, the biggest enterprise in the world, the biggest business Hollywood is. And they show the, uh, the, um, uh, the Washington Monument, as they call it, the big obelisk, they show it in every film as a sign, as a symbol. That means we made the movie. We rule what we indoctrinate your children's minds, otherwise we wouldn't have any more police force or soldiers in Iraq or in Afghanistan or in all those other war wars. If we couldn't present it as being so nice, with some nice music, when somebody gets a nine mil in front of his, um, between his eyes, in his front, in his head. You see, with some nice music, they show the big warrior. He can finally get get rid of all his aggressions. I mean, this is the thing to do if you want to be a man, you know. But these are only soldiers. There's a difference between a warrior and a soldier. What I'm doing here, that's warrior's business. I don't need a general to take up orders. I can, uh, I can make up my strategy myself. You see, I'm not a soldier. Get out of here. So, uh, mother, mothers, please make more warriors, so the pharaohs can cannot take your children and make soldiers out of them, and you'll lose them. See? Oh, here we got the Washington Monument again. <laughs> sort of. So this is the old part of the cemetery. There are three parts apparently. And uh, oh, they do put stones here. Well, look at it. There are stones, and uh, they left a space for it to put the stones, as here. This is the old part. And another one that's full of it. And actually, I think the Orthodox Jews are probably the priests of Amun from Egypt. But then again, within the Orthodox Jews as well, there are pharaohs and are Hebrews. They're not all bad. I don't think so. But the pharaohs are. And the pharaohs are the biggest enemy of the Hebrew people. They always were and they always are. No. Even Hebrew soldiers are being sent to war, even if they don't want to. I remember there were special forces and they were, they were just sacrificed in, in some sort of a... Um, they had to do some uh, with a, in, in a poisonous river. So even the pharaohs, they sacrificed Hebrew people in Israel. Uh, so wake up people, do please wake up. Uh, there's some more obelisks in the old part here, full of it. Some more needles. 
Yeah. Some more.